In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to edit the global HTML header and footer on all HubSpot hosted pages. So essentially, the global header and footer, HTML on all HubSpot hosted pages, are just a way to embed uh, specific HTML code or JavaScript or CSS uh, and have it be propagated across all of these pages. So this is really helpful if you have additional tracking code, something like you know Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics, um, Hotjar, Quantcast, maybe just Google Ads in general. So it's, it's a lot of just when you want all of these special tracking codes or just really any additional uh, code on all these pages, the global header and footer HTML within your HubSpot portal is where you're gonna wanna put all that. So essentially to get to that, we wanna go to our portal settings, the gear icon in the top right. I'm gonna go to website, pages. Then you have your site header HTML and you have your site footer HTML. Uh, by default, you're gonna be doing it on all domains, meaning all of the uh, blog, landing pages, and website pages, if that's applicable. Uh, and so everything you put in here will go to every single page hosted on any of those three subdomains, uh, which can be really good if you definitely want it across all three, or it can be somewhat detrimental if you aren't trying to actually do that, but do it by accident. So in cases where you only want specific code on the blog, but you don't actually want it on any of the landing pages, you would just choose a different domain, being the blog subdomain. Um, something to note about this is, you know, by default, all domains are selected, meaning anything you put in here will automatically be put in the other subdomains as well. But as soon as you edit any of the more specific subdomain, global header uh, HTML or footer HTML, uh, the changes you make in the all domain sections will no longer propagate to the subdomain section. That's a way to kind of protect uh, all of the changes that you make. So as soon as you make changes in any of the other more specific subdomains, make sure that you're still adding additional code here because what you put in the all domain sections will no longer propagate to help you know secure uh, what you do with all of these tracking codes and kind of try not to mess things up later. Um, but again, you kind of just, if you have, you know, Facebook pixel, uh, again, if you have, you know, any JSON, uh, or, uh, you know, uh, kind of like a markup language, um, that you want to, you know, schema markup that you want to put on your pages, all of that can go in the site header HTML, or again, you just choose from this drop down to put it on any of the specific subdomains, like the landing pages, like just landing pages, just website pages, or just blog posts. Um, and all of that, again, if you go to portal settings, left side, website, and then pages, and then just editing anything in the site header HTML or the site footer HTML. 